So previously we saw how to create an object literal using uh, this style of syntax. Uh, and you'll note that I've already created a file called constructors.js. Go ahead and take a moment to create that yourself if you want to follow along. I'm just going to paste in the car that, uh, the literal car that we created in a previous lesson here with the make model and the year property uh, set to BMW 745LI and 2010 respectively. Now, there's actually another technique for creating an object and that's through the use of what are called constructor functions. So let me go ahead now, comment this out. And then let me go and create a new function and I'm gonna name it car. And it'll have some input parameters uh, one for each of the properties that I want to initialize upon the creation of the object that gets returned from this function. So make uh, model and year. And then we're simply going to say, hey, uh, the object that gets returned set its make property to the make uh, input prep, uh, parameter that was passed in as the first input parameter and you're gonna add a model property to that object and you're gonna set it equal to the model parameter that was passed in. And then you probably guess what this next line of code will do. Same thing with year, right? And most importantly, whenever you're creating an object using this, this function, it requires the new keyword. So let my car equals new car with a capital C. Did you notice that I named my function with a capital C car? I'll explain that in just a moment. And IntelliSense tells me that it requires three input parameters into this function. So here we'll go uh, BMW 745LI 2010. All right. And so what's really going on here, and let's just go ahead console.log just to prove there's nothing up my sleeve here. My car. And here we're gonna go uh, node constructors. And there you go. We get a car uh, object that has the properties make, model, and year populated. All right. So what's going on here is that the new keyword creates an empty object. Calling the function, in this case car, it will take that empty object as the this, remember our discussion about how the this keyword gets bound to the context from which it's called? Well, in that case, that new object gets kind of becomes the context for this function call and so this empty object starts receiving new properties on lines 8, 9, and 10 with new values set to those new properties. What gets returned from this whole thing with the call to this function is an object with properties make, model, and year already set. All right? So it's important to remember that the functions themselves that we define here beginning in line 7 are not constructors, although if you're coming from another programming language like Java or C Sharp, you might be inclined to think in those terms because that's how they work. But rather in JavaScript, it's the new keyword in front of any normal function, any function, that makes it a constructor call, all right? It creates a, uh, a new empty object and it will pass it as the this to that uh, function call that you make. So the new keyword kind of elbows its way into the execution. Pardon me, excuse me, I need to get in here. And it, uh, and it says to the function, first before you execute, I need to create an empty object and give that to you in the this. So it's bound, so this is bound to this new empty object. And then it says, okay, now you can continue to do whatever you were going to do. Now the function itself could ignore that new empty object, or it could use it like we have in eight, nine, and 10 here, all right? So just to kind of prove that, let me go ahead and comment all that out. And let's create a function, my function. And I'll just do something simple like, hey, uh, I am a simple function, right? And then we're gonna go var my function equals new my function. 
and then we're going to go console.log type of my function, or actually let's go lowercase m for my function. I've got some things wrong here, like, there we go. That's what I want to do. And um, so let's, had all kinds of problems with that line of code, but I caught them before I executed it, so that's good. All right, so you can see here in line number 21, we are creating a new empty object and then calling my function. My function executes, uh, but not before a new empty object is kind of passed to it into this. Now this is not used in the body of my function. So it's returned back to this variable of the same name, but with a lowercase m. Probably should have chose a different name. If that causes any confusion, I apologize. Just remember, lowercase m, my function, is different than uppercase m, my function, in this particular case. But when we take a look at the type of my function, it is object, all right? And so at this point, you know, it's an object, so you can't really do anything interesting with it. It's no longer uh, a function, so you can't do that. In fact, here, let me just um, kind of copy and paste this little note I put to myself in my notes here. You can't really do anything with this particular object. It's certainly not a function reference anymore. Uh, it used the function as a constructor, but the constructor function didn't really do anything to populate the properties of it. And, you know, this will not actually do anything. In fact, if anything, let's just see what happens if we run this. Yeah, we get an exception here that my function is not a function. So we really can't even, we can't do that. All right. Hopefully that makes sense. The right reasons why. But the only thing you can do with, you know, what gets returned here, my function is that you can attach properties and methods to that empty object, which is kind of the point of the new keyword entirely. All right. So what about this upper case? first letter convention. I said that it was a convention. What's a convention? What is this particular convention, uh, you know, specifically? Well, you're basically saying my intent is that this function be called using the new keyword. That's what the convention is. Basically, I am a function, but I should be called, uh, I should be used as a constructor. So you should only use a new keyword on me and I'm expecting an empty object be passed to me so I can set some properties on it or maybe add some methods as the case might be, all right? So just keep in mind that in JavaScript, what makes a constructor function has nothing to do with the function declaration itself, but rather how the function is being called. It must be called using the new keyword in order to be a constructor function. So in the previous lesson, we learned about the built-in native constructor functions that return objects with properties and methods to wrap around the primitive types and give them essentially superpowers, giving them new properties and methods that will operate on the primitive value. New, functional, new functionality like the two uppercase, uh, the two lowercase, the length property, and others that we'll learn about. But that's why they're defined as uppercase S in string, uppercase N in number, uppercase B in Boolean, and so on. That's why you can explicitly create one of those built-in natives if you use the new keyword like we demonstrated in that previous video. So hopefully that all makes sense. Uh, if nothing else, I hope you're learning how JavaScript is all about functions, first of all, and secondly, how you call a function really changes the, the, the meaning of the function and what it's intended to be used for. It changes, even in some cases, the functionality that's defined inside of the function, like in the case of this, or perhaps changes the purpose of the function like we saw here um, with the new keyword and uh, calling into the function. All right, so doing great. Let's continue on. See you in the next video. Thanks.